It's the Honey Badger here, taking in this place of uh, Dylan Carrion, you know? So far we're up 10 zip, 10 zip versus uh, my middle, middle Tennessee? Yes, Middle Tennessee. Been a beautiful day so far for A-State Rugby. Oh, and here goes Nimia. Dusty taking it in hot. Dusty, here he goes. Oh, slowing it down. All right, he'll say, see ya. Take it in himself. There it is. Another Dustin Bates try. That's four tries in this game for the Bates brothers. Beautiful, beautiful execution. Hey, hey, who's in charge of this decision? Anyone. Oh, hello, Dylan. I have filled in for you. Well, looks like it's uh, Dale Bates taking care of the conversion kick. Slots it. Perfect execution, Dale. Well done, Dale. All right. Dale taking it with some pace. He wants to get a hat trick for this game. My money's on Dale. His, he'll be the first to get the hat trick of this game. Montana, or I mean Middle Tennessee, taking it up quite slow to get to the uh, 50 for the kickoff. Morale looks low. All right, here they are. And here, here it goes, up it goes. Oh, a very close one. Questionable, and it is not 10. We'll take the scrum 50. Derek Riddle looking very excited to pick that ball up. <coughs> oh yeah, you, you got some words. Here, Bebop joining us in the box. Hello folks, this is Ricardo Bebop. Let's see. Joining here, yeah. Good day out here. Clouds in the sky, but we're good. 60 degrees. A little bit of a breeze, but... All about that breeze though. Oh, I love that breeze. All right, here we go. Scrum, Derek McMahon feeding it in. Perfect execution by, by the front row on that. Nice and easy taking it. Take it. Oh, Tanner Pope leading us, leading the pack, just bulldozing through like he always does. Cannot be stopped, finally. Taken down. Oh, Durs taking a powerful hit. Questionably offsides there, though, by the uh, second row of Middle Tennessee. Pick and go by Tanner Pope. Oh my God, awkward. Tanner Pope's just everywhere on the field. Tanner Pope, right? Tanner Pope's everywhere. <laughs> oh, Mark Nemia crash, taking it in. Easy money right there. I just crashed it in for a try. They don't call him Mark Nemia crash for nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, hey coach man, you got any words for the microphone? It is me commentating. Mike Baska. Welcome to the box. Chris Weigel. The kick is good by Dale Bates. Look at that glorious rat tail. Slotting another one. I don't know if they can do a slow-mo or zoom in on that glorious rat tail, but but I think I think what Dale's trying to do is give us the uh, the sneaky rat tail where he tucks it in under his jersey inside. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, halftime report. Halftime report. Oh, we don't go that far. What's the score? Uh, I believe the score is Dale's made two conversions, 28-0. We've missed two conversions, so it's 24-0. 20, 24-0 at half versus Middle Tennessee. Thank you. Oh, you want me to read this? And we're back at halftime. First interview. Emilio Batanzo Perez. Como estas? Muy bien, y tú? Muy bien, gracias. <laughs> ¿Cuáles tú piensas en el partido? ¿Qué pienso del partido? Uh, un poco desordenado al principio, pero después nos organizamos, pudimos recuperar la pelota y ocuparla de buena forma. I agree completely. That's exactly what I would have said. Right. Verbatim. Alongside me, I have Bebop Babapado. 
Hello, Dylan. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm doing great. <laughs> Any thoughts? Ach ja, it's a lekker dagje so. And uh, I shoot in by a good. I think oh I crown a worse copy. Uh, I did meter gun. Yeah, Neil, definitiv. Definitely. Ah, little Durs. <laughs> the man from Southside Chicago. Anyone you want to shout out to? Uh, I just like to uh, say hi to my mother and father. I miss you guys, love you. Hello, mother and father. Thank MJ! You. Step on up. How do you feel today went? I feel today pretty good, you know. Went in there, stick to the basics. I think I did pretty good today. Awesome, awesome. And anything to improve upon? I gotta stop drifting out. Try to create more space for you for the outside so I can get around and use my speed. Awesome, definitely something to work on in practice. Love seeing you out there. Thank you. OJ. Dylan Boast. Here we have the future of the program, Dylan, OJ Boast. Thoughts on today? Well, um, we've been doing real good as a team. Came in at the second half, we started making moves at the back line and uh, started looking real well. It's been a good, successful day for the, for, the, for the Arkansas State squad today. I completely agree. Tim Forney, where are you at, my man? The hero, the man with the come from behind, try, last minute, heroics. Uh, what's going through your head? as you're just shedding defenders, like, I'm bringing glory to my school. What, what could you be thinking about? Um, you know, I was thinking about what I'm going to eat when I get back, because I'm pretty hungry right now. And what might that be? Um, probably a lot of protein. I want to look like Ricardo here. Bebop does have a high-protein diet. Yeah. Um, I've, been, I've been doing a lot of curls lately. And you've worked, better, you've worked in an aquarium before. Uh, no, I've never. I actually do part-time Carpeting. I've mentioned the part-time carpentry quite a bit, but yeah, no but aquarium. No, no aquarium. That's falsified no. information I've been false. receiving. I apologize. Me. Sometimes false. even I'm incorrect. My man, Zach Allen, from the Land of Giants. Brilliant in the lineouts today and in open field. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's something we really uh, worked on this week leading up to the tournament. You know, focused on it quite a bit. Pretty happy with it. Did the Tight Five ever name a winner of the summer's Tight Five Challenge? Uh, I think we all knew who the winner was. It wasn't really necessary to declare me as the official winner. Um, you know, going into it, everybody knew I was going to come out with the W, so it's whatever. You know, I think everybody just let it fall by the wayside. You do look incredible after this hard summer of hard work. I'm here with the water bug, Dalton Steele. Beals, beard's coming along greatly. Well, thank you. I try to keep it nice and trimmed for the games. You know, I try to look presentable when you're out there on the field. Representing South Kakalaki, who from that state represents ASU the best? Um, I would like to think it's myself. I mean, I try to go out there every game and play out my heart, but we are all improving and trying to get there with the Texas guys, you know, trying to get the population up. Even better than Rob Hayslip. I thought you were talking about currently. Rob Hayslip was a great asset to the team. He did play great with the lineouts. He was a lineout mastermind with uh, Blake White, our current coach. I agree. Thank you so much, Waterbug. I'm here with the legend himself. The swag cannot be contained. <laughs> DJ Swaggy Nupel. How do you feel today went? Uh, today went all right. Uh, I think some of the, some of the teams here uh, were unexpected. Uh, we did try our best. Um, I think the boys could have distributed the ball a bit more. Uh, there were a few. And a run by Christian Scholes. He's down the sideline, oh. out the back door. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, yeah, no, today was great. A uh, great bit of competition here in Little Rock. And uh, our team, teams are looking good. A lot of substitutions made, but I'm looking forward to next week in Florida. All right, thanks for your time. Thomas, how you doing, my friend? Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> oh, it is truly unbelievable. Um, so the man from the castle in Ulster. How many potatoes have you eaten today? Zero, because American potatoes, unreal potatoes. Pedro Alvarez slicing through, dots it down. Some might say that the perfected potato in its most ultimate form 
is the McDonald's French fry. What do you have to say about that? I say that is uh, bull, and uh, the perfected potato grows in Ireland. Ah, uh, so in my past, I've lived with some Irish men before, and they told me that there was an issue with the lack of self-confidence in Irishmen. I don't see that at all in you. Is it due to your dark complexion? Yeah, I'm uh, slightly different than most Irish guys. Tall, dark, and handsome, you know? Uh, I would have to agree with you on that. In a completely hetero way. Thank you, Thomas. Siasi! Come get interviewed. Thank you, bro. Yeah, why didn't you commentate on H-Town making plays? Siasi, for now, the man who made the staggering run earlier on this field today. What was going through your mind as defenders were just falling off you? How tired I was getting. <laughs> so are you going to work on these fitness levels? Yes, sir. As long as uh, Dylan's my, uh, my trainer, then I'll be perfectly fine. All right, look forward to working with you. Right, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> and the fans traveling all the way from Jonesboro, Arkansas. How do you feel about the boys' performance today? Great. They're doing great. They look good. That was phenomenal. And what is that? I said they look good. Oh, thank you. They're commenting on me in particular, that one. Balls on the ground. Dale Bates couldn't be stopped today. We'll see what he has to say about this. Firstly, was there any correlation between your increased success and the length of this rat tail? I mean, I've been working on it for a few years, as with my training, so I think they do go together. Hand in hand, all things get better with time. Michael Bask out the back door to Blaise Walser. Oh, he can take it himself. Unselfishly gives it side to Miller. Dots it down for Joyzy. Brilliant play, brilliant play of rugby there. Wonderful, wonderful display of play. Back from the lands of Hawaii, we have our boy Josh Nearman with us. How do you feel today went? Pretty well. We did good. We have a lot to work on, but it will be a good season. I agree. Saw some signs of positivity today, but always, always more to work on. I agree. Jordy. The star of the earlier games, the fitness man himself, David Sneed. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having me, Dylan. Anytime. Any thoughts on today? Uh, I think it's been some good, constructive play. We've uh, we've had patches of brilliance. Um, it's nice for us to finally play with and against players who are, aren't actually in the squad, take out all the frustration and all the training pitch battles on someone else. Yeah. I completely agree. Now, you are phenomenal at formulating opinions and verbalizing your thoughts. You are a debate connoisseur. Tell us about your uh, hobby pastime outside of rugby. Uh, well, I'm currently trying to start a debating society at ASU. Uh, I feel we could cover such tricky topics like the economy, why Jonesboro is a dry county. That is Oklahoma. a hot topic of debate. They were considering uh, putting it on the bill. But uh, doesn't ASU already have a debate club? Or are no, you trying to debate Not one of them? note. Not a society. Oh, wow. David Sneed thinks he can improve upon all things as he improved ASU rugby today. Thank you, sir. Take it. Great hit I hope by that. Nicholas Abreus. We have the captain of one of the earlier games here. Took a knock to his shoulder in the AC joint. John McCall, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm pretty good. A little disappointed that I got injured so early. Uh, but I'm enjoying watching my boys kill it out there. They're doing pretty well, making me proud. Roommate love, Blake Walser offloads to Zach Moore for the try. Give us more. Champagne rugby going on at the moment. I thought his name was Reed. <laughs> <laughs> that was from Blade.
always for Reed. His name's Zach Moore. Did I call him Reed? I called him Reed in the game one. Uh, was that all I was needed for? Jamel. Okay, can I can I get back? I'm actually commentating. Yeah, I don't know if you know, but I have a degree in commentating, so that's that's uh, true. Eight tries. The fullback, the last line of defense, who saved the day with booming hits against the Arkansas Razorbacks, Tramel Ray Ray, or as they call him, Boom Boom, Jam Jam Shaw. What was going through your head when they made the break and it was just you who could stop it? Well, first I want to say hi, Mom. Um, I hope you're watching. Uh, also hi to my sister, who also may or may not be watching. But, um, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, I'm just trying to save a try, you know, help my team out. And you did just that. Thank you, sir. Also, shouts out to my mom, Miss Carrion. I wish you would watch me. She doesn't love you. I love you. Send money. Send money. Send money. Mark. Mark. What's the uh, what's the handle on it? What? I don't know. Is that that? The man who laid plenty of large hits today, <laughs> distributed teammates through gaps, and scored a couple on his own. How'd it feel, Mark? It felt great. It's been a while. It has been that you've hit someone other than your teammates. Yes. <laughs> Any thoughts for this upcoming season? Uh, it should be a good season. We should uh, take this country unexpectedly, yeah? I completely agree. Thank you. Back to the game. Back to the game. Color commentary. Preston Weigel. Hey. Otherwise known as the badge. That's how I introduced myself at first. I've literally never heard anyone call you that. Oh, yeah? I think everybody calls me that, if I'm not mistaken, on this rugby team. I can't recall one instance. I can recall on, like, two hands how many times I got called the badge today. So about six to ten times, I would assume. <laughs> that is correct. Jersey streaming across. His foot kind of hurts, I think. I can I can feel it. Yeah, it's I mean I can see it. It looks painful and limping around. Goes around the freaking pitch. Sometimes one cleat on. What do the Red Wolves do here? Make it hot. You Some know, like it hot. And Derek Riddle oh, with the hot potato hands out to Strobel. Oh, over the top to Alvarez. Gets it to Nigga Brace. Will he step in? Back inside to Alvarez. One more. Fox Christian shows and he's going all the way. Ronnie Badger, the badge, what do you feel about that? Well, see right there, that's just great team rugby on the part of the two Houstonians, actually fellow Houstonians, Pedro and Nick. Two young rookies coming in, making it hot, doing it for Houston, doing it big, doing it right. Regular old rugby, doing it right. Phenomenal hands by the entire team, started by Derek Riddle. That's some great rugby. Downhill running. Hey, don't forget running. about Davis. Don't forget about Davis from South Davis, Carolina. that was incredible. Beauty. Preston Weigel rattle us off one last time to our lovely sponsors. Before, oh, your final score for the game was, I'd reckon it's about 50, a lot to a little, 50 to 60 points. 63-0 by Zach Roberts. Uh, we would like to thank textbook brokers with the largest section of Red Wolves rugby attire. Come on, Mayweather. Textbook brokers is your official game day headquarters of your Arkansas State Red Wolves. You can view their wide selection online or in person at 2206 East Johnson Avenue in Jonesboro, Arkansas, or at www.textbookbrokersjonesboro. There's another one. Oh, there's another. And New Way Wireless. 
New Wave Wireless offers not only cell phone sales, but also service and repair. Stop by their location at 1699 Red Wolf Boulevard in Jonesboro or view their inventory online at newwavewireless.com and ask about their $40 unlimited talk, text, and web packages. Successful day for the Red Wolves. I'm out of here. Let me hear your howl. Ow.